All right, today we're reading Proverbs chapter 4 together, and this is a spot in the Bible where the author of Proverbs is telling his son, hey, look, I want to give you this wisdom. I want to impart this wisdom to you because this is what my dad did for me. And I love this. I love this generational wisdom that's being imparted here. So as you read Proverbs chapter 4 together, pay attention to the wisdom that dad is trying to pass on to son that was given by granddad. And in particular, take a look at verse 23, because this is what I think the whole proverb is driving toward. He says, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Now, I want you to write this down and remember this, because anytime you see the word heart in the Bible, it's not talking about the physical organ. In fact, it's not even just talking about what we think of in our language today when we use the word heart. We're thinking about feelings usually, right? When you're thinking about your heart. Now, in Jewish thought, the heart was three things. It was your mind, your will, and your emotions. So yes, your feelings are a part of it, but it's more than that. It's your mind, your will, and your emotions. So another way to think about it is that the heart is the inner you. And the author here is saying to guard your heart above everything else. In other words, guard your thoughts, what you allow into your mind, guard your emotions, learn to be emotionally healthy, and then guard your will because the will is what you end up acting on. You're determined to do this or that or the other thing. And that's what the dad is saying here in this passage, in this verse. So as you read Proverbs chapter 4, think about how to guard your heart above everything else.